identifying homogeneous mixtures. In this question, it asks us which of the following are considered homogeneous mixtures. Remember that homogeneous mixtures means the same composition throughout, the same composition throughout. So we're going to take a look at the answer choices and find the thing that is a mixture but has the same composition. So we cannot tell the difference between the different parts of the mixture. So A, hamburger. We can tell the difference. We can see it's a mixture, but we have bread, we have the hamburger meat, we have tomatoes, lettuce, whatever you like to put on your hamburger. So we can tell the difference between that, even though it's a mixture. So it is not a homogeneous mixture. Milk and cereal. Let's say your favorite cereal is uh, something that is frosted or something else. But you can tell the difference between what the milk is and what the cereal is. So again, this is not an example of a homogeneous mixture. Apple pie. Apple pie, we can see the crust, but inside of it we can also see the apples and the other ingredients that are used to make the apple pie. So we can see the separate parts of the apple pie, and so that means it is not a homogeneous mixture. So it's not one of our answers. D, window glass. Now window glass is interesting because when you make window glass you combine different compounds together but you can't tell the difference. It comes out as one uniform piece of glass. So this is actually a mixture but we can't tell the difference between its different parts so that must mean that it's a homogeneous mixture. So this is our first homogeneous mixture. Let's think about the next one. Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil is also a mixture. It involves something that has the same composition throughout, but it looks just like one thing or a solution of one thing. So that must mean that it is a homogeneous mixture. So for this answer, D and E are the answers for this question.